Portals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, back with Portal, because Portal is fun. Um, I have, however, noticed that Jack Templarkai has started a Portal, probably completed by this point, <laughs> Portal uh, playthrough as well. So clearly, he's copying me, despite at this point in time, I don't think anybody's actually watched the first video. Whatever, not important. As I said last time, we are going to do this chest, te this chest chamber again. Why can't I say test chamber today? That happened last time as well, I couldn't say test chamber. We'll do this chest chamber, but we're going to do it in the quick, cheaty, super quick fashion. And all you do is you put a portal down here, and you put a portal all the way over there, and you jump through it, thusly. Put a portal down, boom, job done, all done. There we go. That doesn't even finish talking, job done. That is how quickly you can do this level. And you are an excellent test subject. You got damn right I am. The enrichment center is committed to the well-being of all participants. Lies. And new counseling will be available at the conclusion of the test. Thank you for helping us help you help us all. I do want some cake. Not entirely sure how much use the grief counseling will be at this point. Okie dokie. Jump and fly. Got it. Bam. Bam. Whee! Oh, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but these uh, emancipation grill things also close any portals you've got open. Just uh, extra puzzle solving. Down! To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Shut up, I know what I want. As I said multiple times last time. Right, that can go over there. And then I need to come over here. It's here. There we go. Through there, down there, bam. Wait, what? That was weird. I don't know why it wouldn't let me put the portal down. Okay. My game just crashed massively again. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. God, who knows why it keeps doing that. Do not destroy vital testing apparatus. So over here, I put one up there. I have to do this by memory again. And then I put one down here. There we go! Aha! I don't know why I feel the need to do these so quickly and not taking a second to <laughs> think about them. There's no reason why I can't. Can I... Yeah, can't uh, can't shoot portals through the room. Didn't think I could, but I think I'd double check. How do I miss? There we go. Over here. Bam. Okay, cokey. So ball goes bouncy through e through e bouncy backy. E. Awesome. I can't one of the oh it's, uh, it's a thing over there. Cool. So yeah, I just have to do the same thing again to get back, don't I? Up, down, down, through. Little little bounce off the middle there. Yeah, again, Jesus Christ! Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. I'm not. I have absolutely no idea why, but uh, my computer. Either my computer doesn't, or Bandicam doesn't, or both, like this game. Okay, so I need to wait for this to get over here. And now basically it's a act fast or die simulator. Over here. I accidentally hit jump. <laughs> I moved my thumb to the uh, 
the stick. God damn it. Yeah, so what just happened, I'll, uh, I'll try and recreate it over here, is I needed to jump through the portal, which meant taking my thumb off the, uh, jo the joystick? That's not right. <laughs> off the analog stick, there we go. Off the analog stick uh, to hit the jump button. So I jumped through, but then as I was moving my thumb back to the stick, I caught the jump button again. And of course, because I was on the platform, I just jumped straight off to my death. So, let's try that again without stupiding myself to death again. We go through. Oh, almost missed it. Uh, did it. Boing. Over here now. Get off the wall. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy the testing apparatus. I will destroy whatever and whoever I want, GLaDOS. I don't remember this test chamber very well. I can't remember what I have to do. Let's go find out! Okay, so button... Oh, that's right. One of these buttons opens the front door. The other button opens the other, but there's not a huge amount of time between the two. So in other words, I need to have these ready. Yes, yeah, so that's what I need to do. I need to get it so the ball is bouncing between there and the doors but bear in mind the ball's on a timer so that'll explode fairly soon and then I've got to press both buttons in such a time span that the, the ball can get through okay so I'll wait for the ball to explode then I'll set the I'm set this portal up now explode okay that's there Button, through, button. Hopefully, yeah, we go. Did you know you can donate one or all of your vital organs to the Aperture Science Self-Esteem Fund for Girls? It's true. Ah, that sounds good. You should always donate your organs at every available opportunity. I feel like I should have a punchline to that joke, but I can't think what I should be. Okay, on to the next one. What's the next? Due to mandatory scheduled maintenance, the appropriate chamber for this testing sequence is currently unavailable. It has been Bullet friends. with a live fire course designed for military androids. The Enrichment Center apologizes for the inconvenience and wishes you the best of luck. Yay, bullet friends. Come off the floor. Whee! Vital testing apparatus destroyed. I don't think so. Ah, uh, they're still shooting me. Come, bullet friends, let's go on an adventure. Hello. Hello. Vital testing apparatus destroyed. Hi. Are you still here? I am still here. Bullet friend! I'm your friend. Ow. I like how it puts an X on the ceiling saying, oh look, you need to you need to drop here. Ah! What happened? Pull it, friend! No! I didn't mean to kill you. How did that happen? Must have whacked it with the gun by accident. But yes, there's a... They, they put a thing on here saying, oh, you need to drop drop something on on the, the bullet friend. But notice, this is not the official testing equipment. So normally they'd put something like this on if it was part of Gladys's test. Someone's done that with a marker. I wonder who it could possibly be. A handprint. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way of getting in here. There is a way of getting in here, obviously. It's a Ratman cave! Is there anything else I can do over here? I can never remember. No, I think it's just... Look, someone, someone's been living here using computers to cook food, beads, and a uh, bucket for let's not get into that. And they've, they've written things on the wall, secrets. 
The cake is a lie, you say? What entirely new, not decade old information? I didn't want cake though, cake is awesome. Trusted friend is science. That is correct, you can always trust science. Hello, can I help you? Cube drop on face. So yes, uh, if you are somehow unfamiliar with the lore of, of Portal after all these years, um, Ratman is a former employee of Aperture Science who managed to survive whatever happened in the rest of the facility, which we'll get to later, um, and has been living in the walls behind all the panels. Um, and there is actually a, a comic uh, set between Portal 1 and 2, we should have delved a bit more into the uh, into the life of Ratman. I think that was actually his name as well. It's not. Uh, I think his name was like Ratman, um, but he had some uh, mental health issues, uh, which did involve um, auditory hallucinations, uh, possibly some visual ones as well. I believe, uh, and he had medication to deal with it. Um, and he fell in love with my character, Chell, from a distance. Chell has no idea who he is, um, as far as I'm aware, at least. Um, so it's by his actions that Chell was kept safe during the, the disaster uh, that befell Aperture Science. Um, and it's also the reason why she's a test subject, actually. Um, he uh, changed a few... De um, details round on the uh, the in the files Chell was not actually supposed to can I get a portal through there? No. Uh, Chell was not actually supposed to be a test subject at all um, on account of having a uncharacteristically high tenacity uh, scoring in other words she never gives up and they determined that actually if they put her in a situation where uh, the test was impossible and was designed to be impossible, she'd be there forever and as such was an unsuitable test subject. Um, and Ratman actually moved her not only out of the reject pile into the accept pile, but also put her at the top of the list uh, so that she would definitely face GLaDOS because he believed that Chell was the only person who would be able to, well, fight GLaDOS because she wouldn't give up, even put in the hopeless situations that will come her way, she would just keep trying. Uh, so yeah, that's, uh, that's it's something, it's something to look up. It is very interesting, uh, interesting read. Anyway, that's enough of Ratman. Get those out there. There we are. So I, I have a couple of cubes now. It's kind of implied that Ratman's the one who's left these cubes here as well, I suppose. But he said to put that X there. Bonk! And there's another one over. Yeah, yeah. Oh, missed. Uh, that's the thing. Most people will give up upon being shot in the face. Chell's just like, ah, another day in the life. Another day at the office. Let me out! I, uh. I got trapped. <laughs> I couldn't move. The bullets were knocking me back as fast as I was uh, trying to walk out. Where did that portal go? Oh, they're all the way over there. Oops. Uh, I find it fun having a, a portal, have things drop through a portal to immediately fall back through the same portal. It does, of course, mean that now my cubes are all the way over there. Bonk! Uh, that is oddly sad. I don't know why I find it so satisfying just watching these little cubes bonk the robots on the head. Because I do like the robots. The robots are fun. And. Box on head! <laughs> yeah, yeah, here I is. You know what we're going to do for you, buddy? I'm going to give you a cube present. Mode activated. Here. Smack. You don't blame That's very kind of you. It would be very easy to blame me. Big old pile of cubes. 
Oh, it's <laughs> this is broken. It's just kept dropping cubes. It's only supposed to give the one. Are we getting up there? No. Oh, I have your attention now, do I? Guess what, buddy? So, uh, again, sort of implied, given the, the place we're in, that this is part of Ratman's tampering. He's sort of going, here, I'll give you as much help as I physically can. Something fall through. Jesus. Everything goes through. Ah, there was another one. I didn't see the other one. That was stupid of me. <laughs> Uh, the number of times I've played this game and I still get like that. <laughs> uh, but it's a fun game. This game is fun. I love this game. It is brilliant. Yeah, close enough. How about you come over there? Yeah. Last one over there. Oh. Again, something weird happening with the uh, screen there. Uh, let's play it safe. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left. No, God! It's angry again! I've angered the computer. Up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. Okay. So, let's... Yeah, here I is. I know Ratman's left an X on the top, but uh, it's much easier just to do this. Come through over here. What the hell is going on? Searching. Bonk. Ow! Don't shoot me after you've fallen over, you dick. Oh, Jesus, what the heck? My game just... My computer does not like this level. Anywho, I just need to put... Are these things heavy enough to set these things off? I can't remember. Yes, they are. Ah! Bad bullet friend. Hey, bullet friend, I've got a present for you. I've got lots of presents for you. This is not working as well as I would have hoped. Unless I've got the angle slightly off. Got it. Friend. Are you still there? Certainly am. Now, shoot. I see Not me, shoot him. Target lost. Goodbye. Put me down. Damn, I was hoping that it uh, would have been sufficient. Anyway, I have a box. Hi. Box is best shield. Well done, Android. The Enrichment Center once again reminds you that Android Hell is a real place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. I hope Android uh, Hell isn't real. I don't like sending any of these creatures to their death. <gasps> Yay! The Vital Apparatus Vent will deliver a weighted companion cube in three, two, one. This Come on, you cube friend! Cube will accompany you through the test yeah. chamber. Please take care of it. We're gonna go on an adventure, cube friend. I can't get rid of these cameras. It's disappointing. Come on, cube friend. Jump, no, jump on your face. There we go. Controls being a bit weird. Um. The symptoms most commonly produced <laughs> by enrichment center testing are. I think I bucketed something up there. Perceiving inanimate objects as alive and hallucinations. The enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. Companion cube would never threaten to stab me. Companion cube is friend. I gotta walk this way so I don't get. Ow! That! That was a thing I didn't want to happen. <laughs> How did that. It must have been behind me and I thought it was. Oops. Yeah. 
yeah, I, uh, I saw the thing get fired and I think I thought it had already come back. First I'm going to have to go this way. Ah. Okay, it's exploded. Good. Ah, don't drop it. Camera. Testing apparatus destroyed. Indeed. Right. Vital Camera. Testing apparatus destroyed. Right then. So put that there. And this one up here. That should be enough for the for this thing. So that should come through, bounce, in thing. Cool, that sets the first one off. Nice. Okay. There's one. Yeah, okay. So, point of this level is I've got to try and relocate basically all of the, uh, the bouncing things. Oh, this is the, uh, the weird one where, essentially, I wish I had a sprint function. I take the companion cube. Companion cube, be friend, come here. And essentially, I've got to try and use the companion cube just to smack the uh, the ball into the right place. Go over there. Ow! I did not go as planned. Did not go as planned at all. Why well, I'm not a particular fan of this tiny house, but there we go. The reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. If the companion cube would speak, it would tell me I was its best friend. There we are. So now this door's open. So I need to make sure that there is a portal. Now, I have to try and remember how to get back. Uh, okay, let's just go over there. This is probably it. Oh! Another Ratman Cave! I almost missed it! How? Oh, uh, we'll just... We'll just do that. That's the quickest way. She's watching you! <laughs> she is! Can't quite read this. Well, Oliver here, if you could make head or tail of what all of that's supposed to say, good luck to you. Oh, this is a um, uh, an Easter egg for outside the game. If you go to, or if at one point you went to, um, the Aperture Science um, website and used to log in C. Johnson, that's Cave Johnson, the uh, canonical founder of Aperture Science, and used the password tier 3. Um, secrets would happen. But I can't remember what the secrets are, because I never looked at them. Oh yeah, that's very nice. Help. Hey, have you been taking photos of my companion cube? Where are you? Where are you? Companion cube's over there somewhere. I can't where am I put it. Oh, here comes now. Stop watching! No. I just love the little photos of Booker Bank cubes over all of them. Not in cruelty, not in wrath, the Reaper came today. An angel visited this great path and took the cube away. Ah. Oh. Why, 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 why? Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The cube had food, maybe, maybe ammo. Or. Immortality? I can't read. Anyway, that's, that's the problem. It's a bit, a wee bit murky. But no, I do like uh, that one. Not in cruelty, not in wrath. The, an the Reaper came today. An angel visited this great path and took the cube away. Uh, anyway, let's uh, let's let's game on, shall we? Uh, so I need to put an orange one over there somewhere. Have remind remembered that uh, which way around the <laughs> buttons go. Okay, so this one should be fine. It's the other one that uh, I've got to worry about. Okay.
Okay, so it's just been released from over there. So if I... yes. Right, now I just have to go back and be careful not to uh, accidentally energy bore myself to death again. Right. So, energy bore. Ah, Jesus! I almost did it! Exactly the thing I said not to do. Right. Energy ball is going to come at my face. I dodge. I get on. I hope I don't. Yes, got it. Victory for the Dark Lord. So, all of those are up now, so I can go up here. God damn it, I almost forgot Cube Friend. I'm sorry, Cube. I'm sorry. Never leave me. I need a sprint function. Boing. 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 There we go. Where should we go next on our adventure for Cube Friend? You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good luck. Certainly did. However, it cannot accompany you for the rest of the test and, unfortunately, must be euthanized. Please escort your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. I have to kill the companion cube? Oh, I, I closed the door. Oops. No, I can't even put a portal there. So to continue the rest of the game, I must unfortunately kill the companion cube, my only friend in the entire aperture Rest science. That an independent panel of ethicists has absolved the enrichment center, aperture science employees, and all test subjects of any moral responsibility for the companion cube euthanizing process. Bye, companion cube! Oh God damn it! <laughs> Bloody timeout knocked it out of my hand. Damn. Oh. Completely ruined the setup for my joke. While it has been a faithful companion, your companion cube cannot accompany you through the rest of the test. If it could talk, and the enrichment center takes this opportunity to remind you that it Bugger cannot, off. it would you euthanize your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. Yeah, thanks, GLaDOS. Try to talk between you and based on the timer of that. Uh, this, this setup, it's setting up for a while, the whole I didn't want to leave the companion cube, but I'm just going to go, bye companion cube, chuck it in, and move on. I completely buggered the whole thing up. Well done, me. I, mean, I can't be the only one to have ever made that joke, but I'm the only one who's made that joke on this channel, so that'll be fine. Let's make the this the last test chamber. The is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment center is Cake. required to remind you that you will be baked. And then there will be cake. Cake! Um, actually, if we're almost at the end of the uh, the tests, I'll, I'll leave it here. We'll, we'll do all of the rest of the game in the next episode, because it's not a long game. There's probably only about half an hour left of it, so we'll make this a, a three-parter. So, yeah, 18 of 19. Uh... Yeah, we'll, we'll call it a thing here. We'll do 18, 19, and the epilogue. All of the last one. It'll be fine. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me on the, the terrible journey of killing the companion cube. Um, we'll end looking at Chell's incredibly shapely bum. It's a little bit dark. I'm going to have a lighter. Is there a lighter place we can look at Chell's shapely bum? Angle myself. There we go. A little, little the ponytail flick that uh, that goes. Oh, I think the ponytail's stuck in her shoulders. Whatever. Anyway, gel shapely bum. Goodbye. <laughs>